Hey guys, it's MJM Fan 22 here, uh, as known as Monster Jam Fan on Sim Monsters. Today I'm gonna really teach y'all how to make tracks in Blender, and not just Blender 2.49b, Blender 2.75. So this is gonna just be part one, and it's gonna be how to get 2.75, how to get the exporter working, and just kind of how to set everything up from the start. I'm not gonna get into any making ramps or importing cars or none of that today but uh <clears throat> so i'll link this in the descri description this is where you get blender 2.75 just straight up blender i have 64 zip that's what i got i mean you can get whatever you want uh so yeah link this will be the first link in the description and i'll have it all put out nice and neat for y'all so yeah download this nice and safe everything and then so everything will go in your program files and then you'll see Blender Foundation, Blender 2.75. And I'm going to get in this step before we do anything else, is your exporter. Now, I could not find the exporter that I downloaded again. So I just, instead of leaving you guys hanging and not making this, I uploaded my 2.75 folder. I put it inside of a zip and uploaded the media file. So get 2.75 and then go download the media fire link. And when you download the media fire link, you'll get this zip of 2.75. Just open it and then there's the folder. Drag that folder into your Blender folder under your program files and just replace it. And basically with this, you'll get my scripts and then my add-ons. And then I think maybe I don't have the exporter. Oh yeah, it'd be export right there. And then there's some more down here, like this exporter and crap. So yeah, <clears throat> just get that and replace it. And that's pretty much it. And then I also have a third link. Oh, well, this will be the second link. So that will be my file. And then just take the folder out of that and do what I just said. So easy enough. And then I'm also going to link uh, Clayton's dot blend vehicles. Uh, this is basically all the cars I use. It comes with a lot of textures and everything. Basically, all you want, and it's easy to make new textures for them or color them different. You don't really need new textures. So, yeah, easy. But just download that now, and then we'll get to that in the next part or so. And so, yeah, so now you should have everything downloaded and even my folder and your folder now. And then you're ready to open up Blender. And so, yours is going to look pretty different from this. It's, it's going to be the same, just a little bit different all around. So you'll have this or whatever, and this will be a cube, so not big with there. But before we get into any of that, let's make your exporter hopefully work. At least this is how I did it. So you go to File, User Preferences, uh, Add-ons, and then what I did, you just type Export, and it comes up. And mine has two of them for some reason. Yours might might just have one. Who knows? But uh, I click both of them, and you just come here and check the checkbox. And then you ref save user settings, then refresh or refresh, then save user settings. I forgot which one first. But yeah, it'll save it. And you might have to restart Blender, but I don't think you do. And then just go down to export, and you should see org3d.scene.mesh. I don't really know what this Tundra is. I don't think it works with regular rods. I don't use it, so I don't know. But yeah, you should see these two or just one of these. If, if not, I guess just DM me, and we'll figure it out. <clears throat> But all right, so with Blender, your interface is gonna look a, a bit different from this. Sorry if you heard that. Uh, but what I, if, as I remember, it comes with two, like one, two, and then one down here. And basically you set this up however you want, but what I did down here was you right click this and then join area, but I did that down to where it's just one big thing and then there's nothing down here. And then I used the 3D view as my big main left screen and then I did the right click again and split the area to the left if it doesn't already come with one I, mean, I can't remember and then made this my UV image editor so another big screen because that's the two you're gonna model right here then edit your textures right there and then I split the image again and then split that into two because this is get down this is you'll need this when you get down into materials and other stuff and exporting so <clears throat> this one's my properties up top or no outliner my bad and it'll show everything like all your meshes like right now I have one mesh and I named it plane and this is my properties uh, let's see it's right here 
and this will get down to textures and then baking over here but we'll get into that later so when i'm making a track that stays to the side and for most of the time this will stay to the side also and so big i have the big edit i mean i could tab and then move up and down and then make a new one and then i'll teach you all the shortcut hot hot keys and uh the second part what i just want to get y'all started with downloading blender as i'm now and so i guess i'll also say just to start go to this little drop down plus i guess you can say and drag it to the left make sure yours looks like this multi texture back face curling is checked and ambition inclusion make sure all that's checked uh i don't think any of this i changed ever but i mean if you want to pause the video and quickly look i mean have fun i mean i'm not gonna really go through it because i'm i'm most positive i didn't change any of it but the shading make sure yours looks like this could run into problems when exporting and then down here i have it as textured but i mean solid same thing this just so it shows textures pretty easy without having a material uh this is just your moving thing make sure this is clicked uh, another thing if you hit tab select on your cube because you're gonna have a cube and click tab make sure this is clicked out i'm pretty sure not gray or a light gray i should say this is for yeah make sure it's light gray gray unless you want it like i don't know how to explain it. you can see verts through your object so this basically makes it if you press one and you go to edit a jump let's say this is a jump and you're making it like this well you can edit everything but if you turn that off which i don't recommend at all you can only edit just one portion so it'll make things pretty complicated so just make sure it's like gray your life will be a lot easier and that's pretty much all the settings that i really changed or made to my liking again this is fully customizable you can do whatever you want but uh yeah so your cube for now is good just make sure you have everything downloaded your exporter shows up and then your plus tab is your shading matches mine uh but yeah that's about it for this first part uh if you have any questions don't 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 hesitate to dm me send me a message on youtube a message on sim monsters monster jam fan monster space jam space fan uh, write a comment honestly if you want a discord I'll, I'll drop my discord to you if you ask uh, i'll try to get back as soon as possible i won't ignore you it, if it's a, a question that everyone's asking me i'll go ahead and add it to a, the next video or make a whole video about it if it's that confusing uh, so yeah just let me know and then uh part two we're gonna get a car in here and we're gonna make some jumps or a jump and then part three will probably be texturing and then part four will probably be exporting and figuring out how to get in game so stay tuned hopefully i can get at least part two done the same week but if not just stay tuned guys um i got busy with school and everything so yeah <clears throat> all right well that's part one Thanks to you for watching.